Hey there folks, and welcome back to Genshin Impact. In today's video, we are going over the new event, the Hyakunin Iki, which is sort of a trial by fire. You get to play all of these characters that you may or may not have at strong levels. Basically, you create two-man teams in order to complete each wave of the challenge. So as you can see here, we have six two-man teams that you can create along with skills, as they're calling them, that allow you to further boost your character's skills. Um, whether it be basic attack damage, plunging damage, charge attack damage, elemental mastery, uh, elemental damage of any kind, crit damage I think is one, you can double your attack as well. Uh, so basically it just gives you a lot of different options that can better enable your team overall. So as you pick your two-man teams, you have to think about the two uh, Garyu arts that you get that can increase your team's damage at the best way possible. Um, so for my first team, I chose uh, Plunging Attack Damage and Anemo Damage, and this was so that I could use Zhao. I paired him with Albedo, uh, because I think Albedo has a constellation that increases plunging attack damage. I don't have that constellation, but in theory that would be the right idea to go with there. So that's the basic idea of it. You can create teams based on how you want the skills to best interact with your DPS. You don't really need healers in this, so if you need... For instance, I'm picking Ganyu, I'm looking for a Hydro character to pair with her so that we can get Blizzard Strayer as strong as possible. I ended up going with Barbara. And then we select a Charge Attack Increase by 75%, as well as a Cryo Damage Bonus. Uh, basically, you just take your theory of how you want to use these arts, and how best to pair them with characters that you want to deal the most damage with. So we'll go ahead and fill out the rest of our squad and get into the action. So today's ley line for this event is a 30% increase to physical damage bonus. That doesn't really come into play today. Um, but yeah, basically there will be an additional ley line disorder in addition to your skills. So as you can see here, we are starting out with Zhao. Uh, this is ex pretty exciting for me because I don't have him. I haven't really played him much at all. I know you just jump around and plunge damage. It's cool to see him just absolutely obliterate these guys. Um, I am playing on normal difficulty, which has a no uh, score multiplier for the overall event itself. And then as you can see in the bottom, or in the middle right, uh, you can see I start doing basically no damage. So that means it's time to switch teams. And so you'll get a little reminder under your characters there uh, to tell you to switch teams at any point in the fight. Basically, you just keep switching through teams, keep fighting waves, um, and basically you run through as many team comps as you can to accumulate as many points as possible. The enemies will constantly spawn, you just have to keep switching teams. Here we go with the Ning Wong. Uh, very excited to play with her because I've been trying to build her, but I keep not building her. For whatever reason, I decide to keep trying out new teams. That's besides the point, here we get to try her out. This event is really awesome, because you get to try out so many new characters, characters you may, may not have, characters you haven't decided to build with yet. You get to try out uh, team comps, uh, at least in micro form, that may otherwise be um, something you're not sure will work yet or not. So here we see Rosaria and Child do very well together. Maybe I want to put them together in a future team. 
that's kind of the idea. I think this event is super awesome, especially for free-to-play players who maybe don't have a lot of access to any characters, um, whether or brand new characters that have missed out on old banners and are waiting for Zhao, Ganyu, Hu Tao reruns, and they get to try out all these characters. Um, so yeah, I'll just go ahead and let the footage roll for the rest of this fight, and then I'll see you at the end. And with that last meteor, we complete the challenge with a 1790 score just under the gold medal of 2000. If you want to get that 2000 for those enhanced crystal ores, you can set it to the uh, harder difficulty. I'm sure that's not too difficult. Uh, for the event completion each day, you get 70 Primo Gems, which is nothing to scoff at considering past events. So get in there, kick some butt, enjoy the event. I have been, at least this first one here today. Um, with that said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.